welcome to Fitness Training Solutions. Okay, so one of the questions I've had today is regarding your learner assessment record, in particular, your um, certificate in personal training it looks just like this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through the different stages of the plan. First of all, if you want to go to straight to page 17, 17 is applying the principles um, of nutrition. And it's the knowledge-based questions that you need to find. Now, with the case study, it's pretty simple. You need to work out each individual answer and follow it step by step. So go from question one all the way through to the very last question. So the main points of these questions will all be found in your nutrition um, manual. And it goes from pages 17 all the way to pages number 20. After you've completed that, you're then going to begin your case study. Now the case study is really important and it's important that you get the right information across to your, um, to your assessor or tutor on the day. So what I need you to do is go to the back of your pack and in the back you're going to find a, a food diary. This food diary is on page 75. Now your food diary um, is a seven day food diary of everything you're eating from Monday through to Sunday. Every single uh, portion size, so you're looking at um, how much carbohydrates, proteins and fats you're taking in, you're looking at your water intake as well. Because what you're going to do is you're going to analyse each individual section to put down in your programme. Now the important thing to remember, as, as a personal trainer, you're not meant to be giving out a programme to someone. And when I was saying program, I'm talking about a nutritional plan, something that's laid out that tells the client exactly what they need to eat. What you should be doing is giving healthy advice and healthy options to how they can better and change their lifestyle and their current eating habits. Unfortunately, within the industry, there's far too many people giving out lots of these diet plans and they're not actually accredited and they're not actually got the qualifications to back them up. If you need to give a program to someone, they should be a qualified dietitian, or they need to consult their doctor as well. Okay, so your case study. The case study starts on page 21. It looks like this section here. So the case study is very simple. You're going to do all the details of your client. You're going to look at what their BMI is, their gender, their age, their height, their weight. You're going to look at description of activity level, current and past activity levels as well. You're also going to look at their fit principle as well. So looking at the fit principle in terms of what their current activity activity levels are. So fit principle being fitness intensity, time and type. So we're going to look at their current activity levels and we're going to look at their past activity levels as well. Once we've done that, we're going to then try to work out on page 22 their BMR. Their BMR stands for the basal metabolic rate. And it's a specific calculation you're going to find in the nutrition manual and you're also going to receive on the course when you go through the nutrition workshop as well. You're going to work out your current client's BMR. Once they've worked out their BMR, you're going to look at their lifestyle, how they currently, what they currently do, what they're currently eating. So you're going to put them all together to work out what you need to give them as a healthy options to eat. And remember, we're not actually doing a physical diet plan for them. After that, you're going to analyse it further from pages 23 all the way through to 24. Basically, what you're doing is taking their seven-day diary, all the past activity levels as well as past eating habits as well, and you're bringing it and analysing everything down. I want to see broken down macronutrients. You can do this using um, a calorie counting book that you can get online and get them from Amazon, uh, Waterstones, or you can use the MyFitnessPal app, uh, which you can get on most Android and smartphones nowadays. It's gonna help you break them down, it's gonna help you see exactly where your client is, and using your current eating habits and healthy eating guidelines, you're gonna offer them a program. Now the program, as I said, is not a specific program for individual food portions, exactly what they're going to eat. It's designed to give them healthy options and healthy um, changes to their current eating habits. Okay, so on page 25, you'll see you've got SMART goals. You're going to set short, medium and long-term goals. Now, like your 12-week case study that you're going to do with this Level 3 Personal Training Diploma, you need to make sure that you set the long-term goal first. 
By setting the long-term goal, you're going to know what your actual target is. You're then going to set medium-term goals, what you'd like to achieve on a quarterly basis or a monthly basis. And then you need to work out what the short-term goal is. Now, these short-term goals might be weekly um, or daily goals. And it's small, bite-sized chunks that you can achieve that's achievable for your client and achievable for you um, and your client as well. Now remember you're working with your client through this as well, so you need to make sure that they fully understand and fully aware of everything. Now on page 27, you're going to give me an idea of the sources of information you've done and also you're going to then outline the nutritional uh, requirements for their new eating habits. Now, what you've got to remember is the sources of information need to be academic sources. I don't want to fit this on men's health. I need an academic resource that's been proven by science. Once that's done, you can then start working out what the calculations are, working out what you need to give to your particular client to make sure they're eating right. So at the minute, I've analysed Joe Blogs. He's currently having 500 mils of water a day. So straight away, one of my guidelines, one of my um, options would be that he um, increases his water intake to two to three... Uh, for two to three litres a day straight away. So that would be the first point of call. I then look at his nutrition. I look at his protein intake, his carbohydrate intake, and his fat intake, also his vitamins and minerals. So I'm looking at all his micronutrients and macronutrients, and I'm making sure that he's eating enough of a variety of foods so that he can live a healthy lifestyle. All those things that I'm going to put into the plan. After they've done... I'm then going to review with the client. I'm going to ask them how they've been feeling. This might be four weeks on, seeing how they're getting on, seeing how their current eating habits are getting on. Um, I'm looking back at their medium-term goals. So that every four weeks, I'm checking to see if they've checked in with me, make sure they're happy with their progress so far. This is going to come hand in hand with your 12-week case study, which I'm going to talk about in the next video blog. After you've completed all that, you signed all your documents, that is your nutrition case study completed. It is as easy as that. You'll hand that to the assessor or the tutor on the day, they'll get that mark for you and they'll be able to tell you whether it's passed or referred straight away. If you've got any questions for me, please drop me a message. I'll be happy to do another video blog. I'll be happy to give you a call direct. Um, you've got my number, it'll be on the end of the blog. Um, thanks for joining and I'll see you soon. Take care. I can feel the love in your feet I can feel it all I can feel it all